Hello everyone, welcome to Algorithmic Finance. On this video, we will learn one of the most important functions in MQL5 language. So that will help us a lot. So when we were creating our own algorithmic trading system. So now let's move on my computer and start coding. So in MetaTrader 5 terminal, we can press F4 or here IDE button. I can easily move on Meta Editor window. So let's do from scratch. I click F, I click IDE button and this meta editor window appeared on the screen. So I close all. For this video, I will create new expert advisor here as you see new and I will create template expert advisor. Today we will learn on tick function, on tick function. So I will not mark any of these and later classes we will cover all these. And next, I will not mark any of this again. And when I say end, and it a new template file has appeared. So in earlier earlier videos, we covered on init and on the init function. Just to be able to simplify, I just delete all, and I will only leave on think function that we will be using today. On think function is the function that works every new price update appeared on broker server so when the market is volatile till one second there might be like 10 or 15 price changes but when the market is not volatile it might be like every two or three seconds there might be new price update price update doesn't have to change the price so the same price may come with an update so we can think like every second this just keeps working so to be able to be able to understand well let's start with alert function and as we did earlier classes we will just say hello and i end up with semicolon i compile the code you see there is no error at all with F4, I just go back meta editor window, expert advisor, name was on think. When I draw and drop on Euro USD, as you see, it just keep alerting all the time, kind of annoying. It pop up alert like uh, seven times in one second as you see it started. So this is the this will be the main function that we will write most of our code because when we create expert advisor, expert should has to check market. Did it get the signal? Did it come to news or price move the certain level that we defined earlier? This has to be checked all the time. So that's why 99% of our code will be on think function. So this is we get the alert. So now let's open some position also to let you know that algorithmic trading is not at as hard as you think. If you just find out on this class, you can open position easily with just two or three lines of code. I believe it will increase your learning motivation. Okay, let's include, I need to include library. Trade. So I include this library and I call my class as trade. I will put this library text on comment so you can easily copy and replace on your system. So after that I include this library. Whenever I write trade and dot, you will see this all this option that we could do. We could open position, close position, modify position, putting stop loss, putting take stop loss or updating and uh, limit order all these things about trading so that we will do from this library so for this class let's open buy position as you see buy is here i click now it start to ask from us parameters after i define all these parameters that i can send this code or i can send this order to metatrader 5 server so first of all it asks volume Volume is the lot that we have to define. So let's say one lot and comma. Here it asks symbol. So which symbol that we will open position. Here I can put Euro USD or Sterling Dollar or Gold. All I need to write the symbol code here as you see. But most of our time we will put null. 
This means so if I run this expert advisor on Euro USD, it will open Euro USD. If I run in Sterling Dollar, it will open position on Sterling Dollar. So it will be more flexible if I put null. But time to time in some strategies that we have to use this uh, quotation mark and define specific symbol. So here is uh, the price. Which price that I want to open position? In MetaTrader 5 terminal, for example, when I want to buy, as you see here is the last end 70 and 57. When I am trying to buy, the, the ask price is the higher price and the selling price will be the lower price. So this will be the main income of brokers. So every time that we open position, which means it will start uh, and loss because this is the this is the the spread and this is the differences between buy and us buy and sell price. So when I want to buy, I need to use this ask price. So how to get ask price? So I cannot just write this uh, the price here because it just keeps changing and it will it will never match the, the the price that we write here. So we have to get this automatically as well. So how we can get it? Symbol info double. This is the function that will that ask like two parameters from us. First of all, symbol name is the same. I will put null. What I need from the symbol, I need ask price. But there are many other things that I can reach from this level. So in next classes that we will cover these two when we need it. Okay, now and I put again comma as you see stop loss take profit and comment. So I can put directly like stop loss as 1 or 1.25 and so on. For first order, I will not put I will not put take profit and comment will be first order. I close parenthesis and as I do always I end up with semicolon. And now I compiled. So when I compiled, as you see, I defined all. And when I just include this library and I define this two, three, four, five, six parameters, after I give system six parameters that I can change. So this will open my position. Okay, let's see on MetaTrader 5 terminal. Name of this expert advisor was on think function. So when I draw and drop on chart, I will have I have to allow algo trading. So this is kind of security check and I start as you see it start to open position and I click here this algo trading this will stop trading in case of emergency I can easily switch on and off so now it just keep opening position as you see every new price came it opened one lot and euro USD and the comment was first order so as we defined and you see there is no stop loss and take profit let's close all this position close all position and let's define stop loss stop loss i can put 1.1 .1 and as take profit 1.3 and after i compile again so when I compiled, this code was updated and I let algo trading. As you see, this new orders came with stop loss and take profit. Stop loss as we defined 1.1 and take profit 1. Putting stop loss in this specific level, it will not help full much. So it's better to put some point level. Let's say if I am opening position at this price, then I have to put stop loss like 500 point down and 600 point up. So instead of just giving clear, instead of giving some specific number, I will define it as point that position open level. So let's do a little trick. And I say double ask equals. I remove this from here. So I do this definition here and here I just put ask. I don't want to put inside of function much. I want to see clearly what is it. And I know this ask is it, it will give me every new price changes in the cur current ask level. So here 
I delete again. Now I say ask minus 0 0.00, 50, 500 point down and ask plus 0 0.00, 500, 600 up. Let's do 600 and divide. Now I, I compile again with F4, I move back. So now I will let uh, I will switch on algo trading and see how it will open. As you see this time in opening price of opening price minus 500 was the stop loss level and 600 was the take profit level. So this last two is much better. So when you were creating system so because we cannot just we cannot just keep looking at the price level and define on robot the main uh, the one of the main idea of creating robot to get reading of this have to to get reading of that we have to stay in front of computer that we want to automize and we don't have to stay we don't want to stay in front of computer all the time so that's why we are trying to uh, to use the second method again with f4 i go back let's do a little more practice so this was all. What happens if we mistakenly put wrong stop loss level? For example, ask price, ask price, uh, stop loss of buy position has to be lower than the opening price. But if I put mistakenly here and I compiled, and again I want to close all this position, and I make algo trading active. As you see, this journal level, as you see. Invalid stop. The system is trying to open position, but the stop loss level is not uh, is not correct level that the system can allow us. So this journal also is important when we are creating and we are testing our expert advisor to find out when we do mistakes and how we can change easily. Okay, let's do another mistake by purpose. I switched back, and I put. 100 lot 100 is, is a lot let's see if we can or not and i this is usd in right click and specification for one lot position as you see we need 1144 usd for one lot in my demo account in my demo account i have ten thousand dollar so which means i cannot I cannot open 100 lot. Let's see. 100 lot in active. And I let algo trading. Now it has it should have open position. As you see, this time we get another error. No money. So which means we don't have enough money to buy this position. Open this position. Let's do another mistake. If I say like 500. Okay, again, I specification, and as you see, maximum lot is 500, and minimum is 0 0.01. If I write here, 0 0.001, and I compiled, let's see which error that we will get. Invalid volume, this one, and the volume is not valid, because the minimum volume is 0 0.01. So let's do two mistakes together. I put 1000 lot. For 1000 lot, first of all, this invalid volume error we can get. And secondary, no, mon no money error. Because for, for, from these two different ways, there is mistakes. So let's say which one will be first. Yes, invalid volume was the first error. But even if the volume was valid, then we have to we have to be stopped by the margin. We have to be stopped by no money. So let's go back again. And so for the sell uh, for the sell order, so we will cover for the next video. I just find out our time is up, so I don't want to keep the video this too long, just not not to make you bored from the beginning. So next video, so we will also cover in sell position and stop loss and take profit when we were doing this. So we will learn little by little from other function as well. 
So that's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you like it, if you find my content invaluable and helpful for you, so please don't forget to comment and give a like. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.